Hello smart folks on the internet. Today is the day of the Semanti strategy guide and there's quite a lot of stuff to discuss. This video will look at the strong and weak points of Semanti since they're so unique. How to start the game, how to continue into the later parts, what makes them so unique in different game modes. If you follow the general ideas from this video, you can win a lot of games and boost your elo rating. So, what will be discussed in this guide? I will start with the game modes best suited for Samanti, followed by the early, middle and late game general plans. In the end, I will give some additional tricks you can use to get the upper hand. And if you want to skip through certain parts, make sure that you do that because, well, just see what you want to know. One small disclaimer, this strategy guide cannot cover everything. There is much to say, but you are very welcome to ask for specifics in the comment section below. Also, we are currently getting to the goal of reaching 1000 subscribers. So if you want to see more of these, be sure to subscribe so that you can become a better player. So what are the best maps for Samanti? Usually, small maps with little to no water are ideal for Samanti due to their way of detecting works. Samanti is a great aggressive tribe that can often siege your cities in the early game, but struggles against late game states. So this is why they are perfect for small and tiny drylands, lakes and Pangeo maps. Although they can shine on normal maps as well sometimes, they are usually not the greatest. In team gameplay, Samanti can also play an interesting role on different maps. The early game of Samanti is the strong and the weak part of Samanti, depending on how you choose to play, the map type and the closeness and amount of opponents. On tiny maps, it is often advisable to do the following opening. You move your shaman towards the resources and get some spores on turn zero. Then you take an explorer and rush towards the spot as early as possible, which will almost guarantee a win because Samanti is a fun and balanced tribe. Try to set up a centipede early on, as it will almost certainly put a lot of pressure on your opponent. For larger maps, you don't take an explorer, rather going for a workshop and still rushing to get hexapods, because Samanti is a fun and balanced tribe among any different technologies that you need to upgrade your cities. From there, you just spam hexapods, because Samanti is a fun and balanced tribe, until you can switch to Dumox or until you've already won. This takes a lot of skill and effort. For team game modes, you want to either be able to rush down one of your opponents ASAP, or you want to meet your teammate and go for Diplomacy Rush. Both of these can be very effective, depending on your overall strategy and map setup. Discuss with your teammates to decide the right course of action. The mid-game is where Samanti often starts to lose steam, as the opponent might have rider roads at this point. You can, this can be very hard to overcome if you play incorrectly. In such a state, I suggest picking up the strategy in any team-based match, and proceed to diplomacy. Ketons can give you the time to switch gears and give a lot of value, especially when you make sure they don't kill your other units behind them. This works well for 1v1 and free for alls as well. This is where most Samanti players can crumble because they start relying on centipedes too much. Centipedes have their time and place, but they are weak on their own. Except maybe on tiny maps. Keep putting pressure on your opponent while building up your economy if you get into this state of the game. Chances are you're going to have a rough time if you're not already in a winning position. This is also where you possibly need to rely on your teammate for some time to build up for the late game, if you're playing team game modes. For the late game, if you got there, you're in for some luck. The first thing you need to do is get Doomoxes, because they are hilarious and pretty strong. If you have the time to do so, get Philosophy as well, since that allows you to train more Shamans, which are basically the substitution for roads. Now, there's this strategy I like to call Hot Buns. Spam Doomoxes and boost them with Shamans along the way. This allows you to easily break through the opponent's lines, if you have the economy for it. If you're not in a position to do so, you might want to consider Exidas, since they are actually pretty good for defending. 
Combined with Kitans from the mid game, you can probably win a lot of games. In team games, you will probably be the one to go for diplomacy, so you'll have cloaks as well to slowly overtake the opponents. You can even boost these with your shaman if you like to. That's pretty cool. Now here's some additional tricks that you might to consider. Samanti is a great tribe for land heavy maps, but what about continents for instance? Well, there is some hope. Due to the farming technology you start with, you could focus on getting into an economic pr approach. If you're lucky, you can get over the water with an algae bridge or two. Alternatively, there's a very underrated unit called Faichi that can fly over the water. If you want to see how that works, check this video out, in which I keep stalling Polaris until, until I can break through. Now algae are basically cheaper bridges, although they do limit movement, except for units with the ability that ignores that. This still means that they can be a feasible alternative for them. You can also use your teammates units to make algae bridges for the both of you to surprise the opponents. Moreover, you can use your teammates units to create fungi, which can be used to level up your cities. Combine this with a Klatos or two and you'll be rolling in the stars. Poisoned units don't get any defense bonuses, which also allows Samanti to play a supportive role in sieging opponent cities, especially if you combine them with high damage units such as knights or, think about it, think about it, hexapods, because Samanti is a fun and balanced tribe. So, people, that is it for today's strategy guide. Did you learn anything? What should I change about these strategy guides videos? And what helped you? Make sure to let me know all of that in the comments down below. Also, most viewers who watch till the end of my videos like and subscribe to my channel. And so should you. Now, that is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something from this video. I will see you in the next one. Good.